Hi everyone. Hi, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, teacher is going to guide for chapter 5. Form 5, permutations and combinations. But of course, it's going to be part by part. And uh, if this is your first time viewing teacher's channel, welcome. My name is teacher Veronica. And uh, consider to subscribe. Show some love by clicking like and share this with a friend, okay, who you think will benefit from this, okay. So, let's get straight into the first part, okay, which is the first part teacher is going to guide today on permutations first, okay. Combinations later, but today teacher is going to guide on permutation first. So, let's get started with what is permutation and how you can uh, understand permutation in a very simple and easy uh, term. Okay, okay. I don't know whether if you heard this now, there was a noise, so I had to pause the video for a while before I continue. Okay, now we can get started, right? So we start with permutation, okay? So today we just focus for permutation only, part one. Uh, I'm going to do permutation uh, in a while, but before that, you also need to understand something called the multiplication rule. Okay, what is multiplication rule? Obviously, multiply means times, okay, a rule, okay. Why it's called a multiplication rule is because uh, when you have a lot of uh, possible ways to do uh, certain things, for example, uh, let's say um, here we have town P, uh, town P, uh, let's say we are staying in town P, Okay, now we want to travel to town Q. Okay, we want to travel to town Q. So when I want to travel, okay, what's happening here is I have four different uh, roads that I can choose to travel. Okay, so road one, road two, road three, road four. Four roads. Okay, so here got four ways to travel. Okay, that is uh, from town P to town Q. Now, let's say from town Q now, I want to go to town R. Okay, I want to go to town R. Here also, I have, okay, let's say here, I have three ways to travel, three different roads to travel. Huh? So, one road, two roads, three roads. Okay, three So, here we have three ways to travel. Okay, now look carefully. If I want to travel from town P straight to town R, okay, but I must go through, I must go through town Q means how many ways can I travel? How many possible ways are there for me to travel? How do I calculate? You have, see carefully, yeah? first you have road 1 or here also you can choose road 1 or you can choose road 1, road 2. Or you can choose road 1, road 3. So basically, here itself, you already got one way, two way, three ways already. Okay, to Oh, suddenly, no, I don't want to use road 1. You can choose road 2, road 1. Or road 2, road 2. Road 2, road 3. Okay, can you see the pattern or not? There are many ways for us to choose, right? Road 1, road 2, okay? So this is where you take the the number of ways for the first okay first uh, traveling journey which is four ways uh, four ways you multiply with the for town r okay so we multiply for town r so uh, to go town r got three ways so total in total you got 12 ways to travel okay so this is what we call by multiplication Rule. This one is very simple, okay, can understand very well, okay. Now, let's say teacher give another example here. Okay, so let me uh, draw here. Uh, let's say I'm going to give you three pencils, okay. Let me draw the pencils. Okay, got three pencils and then you got two marker pens, okay. Okay, the marker pen is not so... <laughs> Like a marker band, but it's okay. All right. So now here you got three pens. Let's say pens are, huh? although it looks like pencil. And then you have two markers. Okay. Now, teacher got two questions for you. Number one, question A. 
how many ways okay how many ways can you pick one item this is my question how many ways can you pick one item that means you must only choose pen or choose markers so you only can choose pens or markers can you can you listen to uh, teachers keyword there there's a keyword there you can choose pens or markers when you have the word or because you can choose pens or markers isn't it when you have the word or it means plus remember this okay when you will have the word or or when you're doing decision and it's like either this one or this one it has to be plus so that means how many ways can you choose the pens here got three ways to choose the pens or maybe you want to choose markers but how many markers are, are there two markers only right so two ways only we can choose markers so i'm going to plus so three plus two total i got only five ways to pick one item only okay so which i hope you can see okay now the same question okay the same question i'm going to ask different a little bit okay how many ways how many ways can you pick one pen and one marker okay the keyword is here the keyword is so straightforward here okay it's straightforward here and that means you must choose one pen you must choose one marker you must have two things okay so since and you must always use times multiply okay how many ways we can choose the pen pen got three ways up huh? okay i bring up a little bit pen got three ways to choose okay how many ways can i choose uh, the marker two ways so i will need to multiply three times two is total got six ways to choose one pen choose one marker how this happens actually is okay i can show you using a tree diagram maybe i choose pen one and then i can choose marker one or i choose pen one and i choose marker two is this possible can right okay there's also another option I can choose pen 2, but I choose marker 1. Or I choose pen 2 and I choose marker 2. This is possible also? Yes. Last option that you can do, you choose pen 3. Then you choose marker 1 or pen 3 and marker 2. So now can you see total number of ways here? 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the way we calculated this now, multiply because it's n, uh, is correct. Okay? So, this multiplication rule, very simple. You just need to understand the n and all. That's all. n is usually times. Okay. Now, we go into permutation. Okay? Let's go into permutation. So, let's look at permutation now. Teacher have already written an example. But before that, you must understand permutation is actually arrangements. Okay? Arranging. That means, uh, you when you arrange, uh, hold on. Uh, I just need to choose the correct size. Because if not, then you cannot see. Okay? It's arrangements. Uh, arrangements here means that when you arrange uh, in a row, Okay, or you arrange in a circle. Okay, later circle have different way of arranging. You have to check uh, that one differently. But if you arrange in a row, in a, you know, a, in sitting positions and all, we mostly use this permutation. Okay, so when you arrange something, okay, uh, here the given formula is n factorial. n means how many total 
number of arrangements. You can also write <coughs> N permutation R. For example, let's say you arranging uh, 5 students out of 10. So, 10 will be the total. R will be the number of students you are arranging 5. Okay. Uh, so, this is how you do. Okay. Now, let's look how to apply the formula okay so you need to understand if you understand the concept of multiplication just now you will find permutation is easy also okay so let's look at the first one okay four persons four persons enter a bus okay <laughs> in which there are only four vacant seats how many ways can they take their seat for four person ah, and there is only four vacant seats so, now let's say I, I put the seats in this manner. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, 4 person is coming in, right? Okay. 1, 2, okay. 3, maybe the third one is a girl. 4. Okay, now. When this 4 person is going to choose, okay. Let's say the first person is going up. Uh, he's going. How many ways can he choose? There are how many available seats there? Four seats, right? So, the first person when he sit, he got four ways to choose from. You can choose here, here, here or here. Okay. Now, since he sit down already, first person. Now, the second person got how many ways he can choose to sit? Here got three ways only. Okay. And the third girl, she wants to sit down. So, if she sits uh, over here, this is two ways for her to choose. You can see this position or this position okay and the last person fourth girl she will sit over here because there's only one way the last seat now since all of them are already we already arranged okay in such a way so we multiply the number of ways they chose to sit so four times three times two times one so four times three times two times one twelve 12 times 2, 24. So, here got 24 ways. Now, this is where if you don't write it in this multiplication form, okay, you can write it as 4 factorial. Okay, use your calculator. Okay, if you have the KCO, uh 570, key in 4, press shift, press x negative 1, which is beside the con thing here this one okay x negative one so you will get the factorial symbol so four factorial is 24 also you still get the same answer okay now if let's say you want to write it in permutation like this now here this one okay because you got two ways of writing right so you write four because total of four students uh, four people Permutation, how many seats they are we are choosing to they are going to choose a seat for. So for permutation for write in your key in your calculator for press shift, press the times, you will get the P permutation, then press for again, you still get 24. Okay, can I? So this one easy, okay, you can do. Uh, now let's look at uh, ways of how you can uh, do the permutation okay to simplify easily okay factorial for example okay let's say it's a give you six factorial okay this one you can straight away key in in your calculator okay six factorial you get 720 okay now let's see if teacher give like this six factorial over three factorial Okay, what you can do is, you can write 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Stop until 3. Why stop until 3? Because below got 3 factorial, right? So, you divide by 3 factorial. Here you can cut. Okay, these two you cut. Okay, now that you cut ready, what are you left with? 6 times 4 times 5. 6 times 4 times 5. So, your answer will be? 120 now this is just like a uh, small small tips that teachers giving here how you can solve because sometimes you will get like questions like uh, hold on mm, let's say uh, 10 factorial 
six factorial over um, seven factorial three factorial. Okay, how do you solve this? Of course, you can key in, in calculator. Can no problem. But let's say you need to show the working. Okay, so always remember when you are studying at maths, even though your calculator can help you, make sure you know how to solve it if there's no calculator. Okay, because that basic concept is important. So now what will happen here is okay, you can write 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial stop. Then the 6, you continue 6. Hold on, here you write times huh? so 6 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial stop because down got 7 and 3 right so 7 factorial and 3 factorial so when you have uh, two uh, the numbers factorial together like that means it's times isn't it in the middle so 7 can cut 3 also can cut so what are you left with this one okay and this one only so you can straight away solve using this one also your calculator 10 times 9 times 8 times 6 times 5 times 4 86,400 okay so this one all is just the simple uh, calculations all right so now we go to uh, a little bit more like uh, for example like if you have conditions okay how to arrange okay all that kind of things uh, but that one you're just going to do as part 2 okay so this part 1 is like the basic you must know the formula you must know your multiplication rule okay so I'll see you in my next part 2 video okay bye